Hello, today's story time is How to Apologize by David LaRochelle, illustrated by Mike Wonutka and read by yours truly, Melissa Law. Everyone makes mistakes. Whether you are big or small, and when you've made a mistake that has hurt someone or something, the right thing to do is apologize. Apologizing can be hard, especially if the other person is mad. Or if it's someone you do not like. Or if it's someone you don't like. But it's important to apologize anyway, even if that person owes you an apology too. Your apology can be simple. Tell the other person you're sorry for what, you're, for what you did. Don't make excuses. And be sincere. You can also apologize with a note. Even if, if the mistake happened a long time ago, it's never too late to apologize. If possible, try to fix the mistake. But sometimes you can't. In that case, you can still say you're sorry, then take steps to avoid making the same mistake again. It might be difficult, but apologising will make you feel better. More importantly, it will make the other person feel better. And that's why we apologise. Alright, let's go back and take a look at the pictures and see what's happening in the story. So here everyone makes mistakes. We have Mr Alligator and this little penguin who is in a, on a parachute and he broke through the roof. He broke the alligator's roof. And it was a mistake. I, I don't think he he planned on crashing through the roof that day. All right, let's see what happened here. We have Mr. Big O Elephant, oh, eating peanuts and on a cell phone, distracted driving and crashed into the back of the little mouse's car. Poor little mouse. That's not nice. All right. So here we have lots of things on display and that there's a note that says do not touch, do not touch, do not touch. And this little cat here, I think she touched one of the vases and it fell and broke. Oh dear. Okay, let's see what's happening in this picture. We have three little meerkats. And they're playing pin the tail on the donkey, but they've taken the picture of the donkey onto this rhino, this rhinoceros. Oh, and they're poking him, and he's not happy. He's not. He's not liking being poked. All right. Let's see here. We have a little neighbor cat and the big neighbor dog. He's having a barbecue, and the little cat. Let's follow the string. His kite fell on the neighbor's barbecue and it knocked over his lemonade. Alright, let's see this picture here. So we have a bumblebee and a fly not being nice to each other. So this one says, fly smells P-U like garbage. Oh, here we go. Fly smell smells like garbage. P U. Vote for B for class president. B stands for brainless. Vote for fly. He's your guy. Oh, so they're saying mean things about each other. The B is saying that fly is smelly and fly is selling, saying that B is brainless. That's not nice. They're both saying... Uh, they're both saying... 
uh, mean things to each other. Okay, let's see what happened here. So here's a giraffe saying, sorry, I borrowed your socks without per your permission. Sorry, I borrowed your socks without permission. So little wormy here, and there's his socks on his head. Don't make excuses. All right, so the, this is an example of not what to do, of what not to do. No, okay. I'm usually much more careful, but I had the niche on my knee and a mosquito flew down my throat and I was trying to avoid a dangerous looking crack in, in the sidewalk. And if your ladder wasn't taking up so much space, I wouldn't have bumped into it. So here is Hippo on a skateboard and he knocked over the dog here who was painting and the paint spilled all over the grass. And so this is Hippo making an excuse saying that he had an itch on his knee, a mosquito fl flew down his throat and trying to avoid a dangerous looking crack and your ladder was taking up too much space. So that's making excuses. So this is what we do do. We apologize. So here's Hippo. I'm sorry I knocked you over. Okay, so being sincere. Here's two examples of not being sincere. Let's see what happened in the picture. We have two little raccoons. There is a teddy bear in the fishbowl. This raccoon is sad, and this one is the one not being sincere. Mum told me I had to apologize for putting your doll in the fishbowl, or I can't go outside and play baseball, so I'm sorry. So that's being not sincere. Not sincere. We have two cheetahs or hyenas. One is holding a garden hose and the other one is soaking wet and he is angry and sad and this one's laughing at him. Ha ha, I'm sorry I accidentally squirted you with the garden hose when you were weeding the flower bed. Hee hee, but you have to admit you look hilarious. Ha ha ha. Oh, not nice. Laughing at his face, even when he's upset, is not going to make the situation better. Okay, another example of not being sincere. We have a chicken here, and we have a billy goat here, who's upset, and it looks like his violin is broken. And let's see what the little chicken says. Look at the new glow-in-the-dark watch I got for my birthday, and I'm having a cupcake party on Saturday, and I'm sorry I sat on your violin. And I get, and guess who's going to be the star of the next of the dance recital next week? Me. Sincere. I'm sorry I popped your balloon. I really am. So we have a porcupine here and a squirrel here. And the squirrel is sad that, that their balloon has been popped. And that's a lovely, sincere apology. So here's a, an example of apologizing with a note. It says, let's spin it around. Dear Sloth, I'm sorry I stepped on your toes. I should not have been running so fast. Snail. The note is from a snail. And look at the smile on the sloth's face. That's nice. Even if the mistake happened a long time ago, it's never too late to apologize. Do you remember back in 1987 when I called you Pokey Pants? Yes. I'm sorry. Thank you. All right, so here we have uh, the little penguin that broke the alligator's roof. He's helping the alligator fix it by helping him put on a new roof on his house. That's nice. Okay, and let's see here. Okay, so the little meerkats, they said to the rhinoceros, we're very, very sorry. And they moved their picture of the donkey to a tree so they don't poke Mr. Rhinoceros on the behind anymore. 
and this little meerkat is holding a box of uh, bandages. And see, they put some bandages on the rhino where they poked, where they poked him. And look how happy the rhino is that they said sorry very sincerely. And they tried to make it better. Okay, so here we have little bear who made a flag for the castle by cutting out a piece of fabric from Big Bear's underpants. Uh-oh. Now what we gonna wear? So Little Bear said sorry, and then together they fixed the hole in the pants with an extra piece of fabric and sewed it together. What a lovely book and beautiful drawings. That was How to Apologize by David La Rochelle, illustrated by Mike Bonuk Tka, read by yours truly, Melissa Law.